And then this is the first time we talked to you since you got on the campus. Just how these last few weeks, handful of weeks, been for you as you got acclimated to this program. I mean, it been good. Just been adapting to the new culture. Come from LSU, it's, it's kind of different over here. Kind of the same at the same time, but yeah. Me and the guys, we getting along good. We just hoping for a good season. What are similarities, differences that you've seen between the two? I mean, uh, they the practices they run, they run a practice similar to each other. Um, <laughs> the difference is, uh, it's just everybody's one. I feel like over here, like it's more, we're more connected, like more together, player to player, coach to player. Mm -hmm. hey, is are there ways that that shows up that you've seen, like whether it's in practice or in a meeting room or just hanging out? Uh, it's really everywhere. Like even mm -hmm. even like walking to class, like guys coming up to me, you know, just filling me in. On like, is everything. Mm -hmm. I guess how much easier has that made your transition if it had been you know the opposite? I mean, yeah, it, it made it a lot easier because you know mm -hmm. once once you get the connections, get to connecting with certain guys, you know that's them gonna be your guys. Mm -hmm. So so why did you ultimately decide to come here when you're in the portal? Mm -hmm. I felt like it was wasting my talent, so I just wanted to go somewhere I could show my talent, show everybody what I'm, what I'm about. Why do you think that Kansas was the right spot then for your talents? Uh, I really ain't know until I came on my visit. Okay. But like, yeah, they showed me like, they showed me like the real, and they gave it to me like the real. That's why I like, like, mm -hmm. just come straight forward to me. I don't want you to sugarcoat nothing. Mm -hmm. They ain't sugarcoat nothing. They just told me straight forward. I'm at to come in and work. So who was talking to you? Who? Uh, Coach what did they tell you? Coach Pete was. And then um, Kenny, he filled me in on a lot of stuff because he was my host mm -hmm. when I came down here. What do you think about Kenny? Oh yeah, that's my guy. That man, that big, man is hilarious. Big personality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's maybe been the most surprising thing to you so far <laughs> since you've gotten here? I'll say the players, like the connection the players have. Because um, I'm big on loyalty and like all of them, they, I can call all of them my brothers now because we all just won. Like everybody, even up on on, they still talking to me, I'm talking to them. What about just like I guess more into the city or the campus? I love everything it. in general. What, what anything? I love it. You there? know, I'm from I'm from Pensacola, Florida, so everything flat out there. <laughs> but like I just like seeing like the hills and the views, the different spots. What about the What about the weather? What do you think of the weather? <sighs> I gotta get used to it. <laughs> I don't really I don't really deal I don't really do the cold, but it is what it is now. I guess for the rest of spring practices, what are you hoping to see from yourself? What are you hoping to? Is there anything specific you're trying to work on for the end of spring? Everything. I'm just trying to up my game. I'm trying to be the best one on the field at everything. What are some of your impressions been on other guys in the cornerback room, like maybe Kobe Mello, Gerv? Oh yeah, they're my guy. I ain't gonna lie. Like our cornerback room, I, everybody, everybody can play. Everybody got talent. To me. What do you think everybody does well individually? Kobe, he the he the hype man. He gonna he gonna keep us up. Uh, Melo, he kind of quiet and chill, but he we elevate off what he do on the field. Um, Gerv, Gerv, he's like I actually like Gerv because he's he's big on technique and like I just been scoping him out, seeing what he does to see if I can add it to my game. Uh, Wood, that's my guy. He quiet, but he gonna he gonna put in work. He quiet, gonna put in work. Same as Quinn. Mm -hmm. And then what do you bring to that cornerback room that's unique to yourself? All oh, of it. I mean, I got a little bit of Kobe, a little bit of Melo in me. Like it's just, I just, I just love to be with the guys. When you're on the field, what do you feel like they're asking you to do? Who do you feel like you're, 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 they're asking you to be? Myself. I mean, like, come from LSU, like they there was. They was real big on like the stuff they wanted, yeah. but like here, that's another thing about why I came here. Cause like they say, like it's really up to me. Like they just gonna give me them tools that I need to make my game better. So you feel like you're a cover guy, stop the run. Like what do you feel like your strengths are? Uh, cover guy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but I, I'll come down and hit you. Though. <laughs> How much did KU's success last season maybe? Play until you decided to come here and understanding that maybe this is a program that is continuing to, to be on the rise. Uh, I mean, we, we got some guys that came in. I feel like we just made the team even better. Uh, I really didn't see much of the season last year because I was, you know, in my own season. But um, I went back uh, to watch like certain games and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it better. Thanks and also the other guys that came in. Yeah. Thanks.